Hey everybody, Model Man here, and on the bench for March 2014, it's a whole lot of stuff going on. It's the Jupiter 2, it's Darth Vader, and it's, holy crud, a green screen? Holy crud, different space? Holy crud, where'd things go? A fourth rack for Modeler's brand? Holy crud, there's a cat up there. Holy crud, there's an up there up there. Where did all this come from? Let me show you around. I got a few small fires to put out, piles of paper like that, and that, and all these Cinefex here, I'm going to be auctioning those off. I've been culling my collection down to the ones that I really truly want, and uh, consequently, all of these will be going. And in addition to books, hey, I've got all my books here. This is every book I own, pretty much. Again, over the last year or so, I've been going through culling things down to what I really, really, truly want and what was important to me. And I'll show them off sometime. There's a few that I've done reviews of, and there's a few others that might be interesting to folks overall. And just above that, yes, the eBay charity auction is coming. In that plain brown box, an NPC Death Star. Two hemispheres, I'll show it off eventually. I got it on eBay for $5 shipped pretty much, so it was worth it at that point. But that'll be going up for auction too. I just recently reconfigured all of my models, shifting them over, and uh, the Death Star literally got squeezed out of place. There is no room anywhere for it anymore. So, goodbye Death Star. And all these other model kits in frame right now. So, not... And in this corner, weighing in at an eventual 125 to 200 pounds, R Pi D Pi. Our full scale droid, he'll be living in here for now. His skins are over to the left of the frame, and I've got to get those bolted on the frame just to take up a lot less space. All of this green screen stuff here will find a box that'll go over here on the new shelving unit. And the old unit got thrown away, and just three days later, it's already been taken from the dumpsters. So somebody thought it was cool, just like I did, and I'm glad for that. There's another little minor fire here on the bench, and this is a total wreck of a space here. But over here, this has a lot more room now, as you can see. I can actually walk around. The chair will be able to move around easier. It'll be very nice. I'm glad to say that Modeler's brand has now expanded to four racks of LED tape. All of these boxes are holding up pretty well, but 1701D just keeps wanting to fall down no matter how much putty I put on the back to hold it in place. So there's a bit of a mess here, but it's not as bad as everywhere else. And poor Vader, as I said before, is sitting here for like three weeks now. I did a lighting test really quick, and everything lights up fine. I just really got to get off my butt and mask him off and for real and get painting all the different layers that need to be painted. The Jupiter 2 is uh, about to hit some Fedoratron sequencers and once those go in that'll definitely speed things up. Right now the Jupiter 2 is living on the body of Arpi and I may just pull down one of these models here and start working on it to uh, just keep the juices flowing. It helps to have a couple projects in process so you can switch off between them and if you get bored or frustrated with any one of them. The only other minor change down here is that the compressor now has this little bit of a shelf on top which helps organize things a little better. And I'm contemplating a new painting booth. How that's going to work out I don't quite know yet but it will require a $120 uh, outboard fan motor uh, assembly to get the thing going but at that point I can put the paint booth anywhere I want this one was designed for my last apartment and the window at the last apartment was that low right there so this has never been ideal at all and there's been no way for me to change it but building an entirely new paint booth it'll be modular I'll be able to use the same base stand that everything is sitting on now and I'll be able to pile stuff on top of that as well. So it will be good. Wow. So, oh, and the video camera arm I have from 
Elliot Brown at Fedora Tron for doing overheads is no longer going to be overhead of the bench. And since the bench is angled off of uh, this, I'm going to have to figure some way to pivot this out 10 degrees or so, perhaps 5. So no sooner do I create 36 square feet of space than it pretty much almost entirely gets filled up with stuff. A lot of it is going back into the living room. Just as I mentioned, I've been redesigning this. My wife is redesigning the living room, but it's going to take her a little longer. So things are in storage for a little while. Other than that, that's about it. The two weeks it's taken me to get the studio to this point is... Uh, it's still not done yet. I still got a little ways to go from ironing the green screen to more vacuuming to sorting out the little piles of stuff that are all over the place and so on and so forth. The models, March, now this is actually starting the fourth year of the Jupiter 2. So uh, I'll have a lot of major work on that coming up almost immediately simply because it's got to be done and get out of the way. It's been holding things up far too long now and we're going to move forward on it. And at the same time, I'm also going to move forward on some other models too, just to keep things going. Overall for 2014, you can expect the Model Man Tom channel to change up the post-production value on the videos, I think. It's going to be thanks for all your help, everybody. Thanks for your comments, your subscriptions, and your thumbs up. It really helps a lot. And look for more from me, Model Man Tom, and from Modeler's Brand in 2014. Thanks for watching. See ya. And here are a few YouTube channels that might interest you. As always, the Scale Model Addict. Scott Gervan brings you his own work, and the Scale Model Addict Forum and Scale Model Addict Magazine. Dr. Faust's The Painting Clinic. Check out Tony for miniatures and model painting. What time is it? It's Cranky Time. With his lab rat Ori assistant Igor, Dr. Cranky brings you the best in rats, rods, and rust. Steve Neal's Garage with Rosie the Wonder Dog, Mary, and Xena, featuring feature film props, restorations, and scale model artistry. Scott Alexander of Atomic City Models, specializing in 2001 A Space Odyssey model recreations and a few other notable genre pieces as well. Braddock 001, whether a one to one scale Borg sleep station, droids of any make or model, or even popular superhero armor or any kind of sculpture, look to Brad Carpenter to bring it. And for the trials, tribulations, and tales of my car Red 2 and its droid lemons, check in on Gears McTinkerson. Bad Grendel's for fine model work, timer chips, and electronics knowledge. The Model Man Tom channel would like to thank the following for their sponsorship. Elliot Brown of Kingston Vacuum Works, featuring Fedoratron.com and WarmPlastic.com. Lighting for extraordinary modelers, and vacuum forming tables for designers, modelers, and engineers. Kingston Vacuum Works covers it all. Paul at TheFiberOpticStore.com, now presenting the beta version of its new site, TheFiberOpticProjects.com. For an exceptional selection and great prices of fiber optics of all sizes and quantities, TheFiberOpticStore.com Carpenter Creations If you can dream it, you can make it. Brad and Carpenter Science Fiction Artiste From full-scale board cubicles or droid displays of all kinds Carpenter Creations Steve Neal's Garage Props and models for motion picture and discerning collectors as well as prosthetic makeup and CG Contact Steve through SteveNealsGarage.com Model reviews from Round 2 Models, AMT, MPC, Polar Lights, and Lindbergh. Scale Model Addict Magazine. Issue 3 now available. Issue number 4 is in the works. The Orbital Defense Engineering Commission, a 2001 A Space Odyssey specific forum for scale model kits, reviews, news, and discussion. Odec.proboards.com More than just talk. Hobbytalk.com, a forum for every hobby. And for the finest reference collection of feature film studio props and miniatures and models, it's Modelers Miniatures and Magic at ModelerMagic.com.